So to make a weapon selection system for your Godot FPS or third person shooter game, you want to have a child of your hand and you can call it like usable weapons. This could also just be a child of the camera. And then you want to have your weapons, in this case have an M4A1 and an MP5 as children of the usable weapons. And the script for the script for the weapons don't really matter, but the script for the usable weapons does matter. And then for your usable weapons script, you can just say var current weapon index and just go ahead set that to zero. And then you want to call a ready function. And then you want to say for child and get child count. So what we're just saying here is crank an object and this is just a child count. And then we can say and get child count. So how many are in here? So this number could be like one while the get child count could be three and it just increments from there and then we want to say get child and then the child index so this child here and then we just can call the dot hide function and then we also want to do the same thing but for set process and then just set, set that to false the reason we need to do both is because hiding does not actually disable the script on any of the weapons it only hides it from being rendered and then set process actually disables the script and then we want to say get child and then this current weapon index which is currently zero and then we want to say show and then we want to say set process to true and then in our process function we want to say if current weapon index double equals get child count we want to say current weapon index is equal to zero this prevents us from going going over the child amount causing a null error and then we want to say if input dot is action just pressed switch weapon you will have to create a input map down here i have one and two both assigned and then you want to say current weapon index is equal to current weapon index plus one you could also say current weapon index plus equals one and then you want to call the what the function called switch weapon which i have created down here and in this function called switch weapon i have a for statement for child and get child count you're just pretty much doing what i did here up here and so it's just hiding and saying the process to false and then for get child the current weapon index of minus one we're showing it and then saying the process so if the current weapon index is currently three then it would be two because arrays are zero indexed so we need to subtract one from the array to get the actual amount and then following this everything should just work you won't have to have a reference to that in any other script i do not believe so you do not okay so doing this your script should just work. If you found this tutorial useful, then be sure to subscribe and leave a like. Helps all channel, helps get content like this recommend to others. Thanks for watching. Fun Uber, out.